How's it going? My name is George and this is the second edition of I Suck at Meteor. And today we're going to be creating a simple input box that submits text to the database and displays it straight away. Like that. Alright, so to get started we're going to switch back here and just delete all of our code. And to JavaScript as well. I'm not going to create the new Meteor file. If you want to learn how to do that, you can find other videos or Google it. But I'm assuming you can create a new Meteor project and learn how to run it. So we're going to start from creating a template. We're going to call it items. Within the template, we're going to have an input box and a submit button. and a submit button. And we need to include that template in the body. All right, switch over just to make sure it's appearing. There we are switch over to the JavaScript file and we're going to create a new collection called items. And we need to create um, uh, a helper and an event. So We're going to start with the event. So when you click on the submit class, it's going to run a function. And that function is going to insert into the database a new document called item. Sure. Um, and that document needs to contain the value of the text that you typed in the text box. And the easiest way to do that that I know of is using jQuery. So we're going to do dots, um, now what do I call it? Text input, I think. Let's make sure. Class text input. Oh, we need quotes. Dot text input. Dot val. That'll take the value of it. Um, and then that's all we need for the event. And then in the helper, we're going to call it return all items. And we're going to set that to the value of a function. And that function is going to return everything in the database. All right. Back to the HTML file we need to create an each control structure that's going to loop through all the items in the database and paste them back to the page. So each return all oops, return all items and then I think I called it item and then slash each and it'll look nicer if we do a break. So those are saved. Go back to the HTML. Refresh. And let's see. There we go. I entered some blank documents. That's why there's a big space. But that's the idea. Now you can have a text box and enter the value of the text into the database and display it. This could be the foundation of your next Meteor app. Thanks. Um, subscribe to my videos and post in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for another video. Thanks.